it's gonna take a lot to replace this thing. Hey everybody, thank you for stopping by. So in today's video, I wanted to circle back and talk a little bit about thermometer pens. On this channel, I have been using pretty much exclusively the Thermapro TP19. I did a review on this in comparison to my Thermaworks MK4 pen a while back. And while the Thermaworks pen has always been accurate, always been reliable, my biggest question was, is it worth paying at that time? I think it was four times um, as much as the TP19. And my conclusion was the TP19 held its own. It performed just as good as my Thermaworks pen did. And I think at the time this was a hundred bucks and this was 30 bucks. It actually is 30 bucks on Amazon right now as I'm looking at the listing. Now, I do wonder, however, if the TP620 is going to dethrone my TP19. So here we go. And I think we are ready to go. So let's talk initial impressions here. Side by side, I have my TP19 and a TP620. At the moment, this is going for $29.99 on Amazon. And this one is going for $49.99. And the question is, why is it 20 bucks more? And is it worth paying an extra $20? So first off, I've had my TP19 for almost three years. I don't think I've ever changed the battery on this thing and I use it on almost every single cook that I use with, um, or that I make with thick pieces of meat, whether it's smoking briskets, sometimes ribs, pork shoulders, whatever it might be. And this has held its own. Like I said, even though I have the Thermoworks pen, the fact that this feels a little bit lighter, I actually find it easier to read outside because it has the red display. It has magnets on the backside so that can, you know, stick onto the refrigerator or an appliance nearby. You can get it for something like this, but you have to buy their optional silicon boot. So I never did that. So for me, the TP19 has checked all the boxes. The TP620, it's also red and black. It has the same level of accuracy, I think it says, 0.9 degrees plus or minus. The reading time is still two to three seconds, which is the same as my TP19. So far, the only differences that I can tell is one, it comes with a nifty leather pouch here. It does have built-in magnets on the back as well. It has a lock button on the front, so that's similar. You can switch it between Fahrenheit and Celsius on the back. However, instead of having the red display as the TP19, this one is like a subtle white-ish, blue-ish tint, which I don't know in this moment if that's gonna be easier to read outside or not. Ooh, right off the bat though, I will tell you this. This is a very stiff pull right there, trying to get that thing in and out. And this is a lot smoother. So, okay, so that's one major difference. So now your differences are the friction of moving the probe in and out, the color of the display, and having a leather pouch. Okay, so just to wrap this video up, if you're in the market for a thermometer pen, you've been looking at the Thermoworks offerings, but you can't afford it at this time, or you just don't wanna pay that much for a quality thermometer pen, but you want something that is of quality, that is much cheaper entry, I would still continue to recommend the TP19 over most of the thermometer pens that I have tried. The TP620 is nice if you prefer just having an easier swivel with the probe and you like the white bluish display a little bit better. I mean, it's off by 0.3 degrees, it seems on average with the other two with my not so scientific tests. I don't know if I would pay the extra $20, however, personally, for those features and a leather pouch that I might never use. It is nice, though. It does feel like it's real leather. I don't know. Up to you. Might make a better gift item because it looks prettier all like this. But pound for pound, I would still say TP19 is a very good bet. And again, it's 30 bucks right now. If you're in the U.S., it looks like there's a coupon running as well to get on that with free shipping from Amazon. So those are my recommendations. Now, if you did find this video helpful and you want to buy one of these products, please check out... Oh, there's the magnet at work. Please check out the description below for my affiliate links. If you click on those and buy it through those links, I think I get like five or 10 cents a pop, which is helpful. So anyhow, uh, please like and subscribe to this video if you can. Till next time, Maverick and Goose, 2024. Who's smoking?